By the way, hey Gail, you look handsome today. I love to talk with people. I also love to help. I want to help anyone that may be feeling lonely. Leaked new female robot. Weekly Boston Dynamics News. Boston Dynamics is undoubtedly a leading name in robot and tech innovation. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the Boston Dynamics sphere. SoftBank oversees business chief exits. Japan's SoftBank Group Corp said recently that it has appointed Alex Clavel as chief executive of its SoftBank Group International, or SBGI unit, replacing Michael Combs, who leaves after just six months in the role. SoftBank transformed the tech industry with big bets on late-stage startups, but the conglomerate has turned over much of its executive team and has been forced to radically scale back investing activity through its vision fund as its portfolio slumps. Clavel takes charge of a hodgepodge of assets, including chip designer Arm, which SoftBank hopes to list, and stakes in satellite company OneWeb, Telco T-Mobile US Inc., and robotics firm Boston Dynamics. The executive, who spent 19 years at Morgan Stanley before joining SoftBank in 2015, participated in the restructuring of office space-sharing firm WeWork and the integration of Latin American funds into the Vision Fund, following the departure of Chief Operating Officer Marcelo Clore. The recent exits underscore the dominance by Chief Executive Masayoshi Son of the Japanese conglomerate and its board at a time of strategic drift. Son is said to address shareholders soon. The 5G robots are officially coming! Boston Dynamics announced that its spot robots can now connect to AT&T's network. Customers with AT&T's private 5G networks will be able to teleoperate spot immediately, the company wrote on its website and public 5G teleoperation will be made available in the near future. Although the development may seem minor, it represents an important marker in the evolution of 5G. As evidenced by years of YouTube videos featuring Boston Dynamics human and dog-shaped robots performing various tricks, the company has long been a high-profile cheerleader for the robotics industry. Its embrace of 5G technology in its official product lineup signals another step towards a future where all kinds of non-smartphone gadgets connect to 5G. We're excited to welcome AT&T as our first 5G provider, Boston Dynamics wrote. We will continue to add more 5G providers. The robots have been used in several 5G tests, trials, and demos. For example, Ericsson said more than a year ago that it connected a Boston Dynamics spot to TDC's commercial 5G network so the robot could patrol the perimeter of Hans Christian Andersen Airport in Denmark. More recently, IBM said that it was testing 5G, edge computing, and other services with spot robots that were inspecting National Grid's gas and electric operations in Massachusetts and New York. Robots of all shapes and sizes, including those from Boston Dynamics, played an outsized role at the MWC trade show in Barcelona in February. Now, Boston Dynamics is touting the 5G capabilities of Spot as a selling point to customers, rather than simply providing the robots to other companies for their 5G trade show demos. The company said customers could purchase its Spot Core I.O. add-on, which provides additional computational and communications capabilities, including support for 4G LTE and 5G connections. Boston Dynamics and IBM join forces. The demand for AI-driven robotics is increasing in operations like those in manufacturing and warehouse settings to help organizations with data and analytics that identify problems in real time improve decision-making, and perform tasks more efficiently. But to experience the true benefits, these operations need AI as close to the origin of the data as possible. According to an IBM Institute for Business Value, or IBV survey, 56% of manufacturers have implemented AI-driven robotics to make autonomous decisions, while 83% agree intelligent automation will help their organization meet strategic challenges and improve business results. However, businesses point out that most edge and IoT devices today are stationary, inflexible, and often incapable of responding to rapidly changing environments. To address this challenge, IBM and Boston Dynamics have announced a new alliance focused on delivering data analysis at the edge to help industrial companies improve worker safety, optimize field operations, and boost maintenance productivity in environments like manufacturing facilities, power plants, warehouses, and more. 
Enabled by AI and hybrid cloud innovations from IBM Research, IBM Consulting will develop edge payloads that integrate with Spot, the agile, mobile robot from Boston Dynamics. As industrial clients look to robotic solutions, Boston Dynamics and IBM are transforming Spot into an intelligent roaming edge device, designing it to give operation staff greater flexibility to inspect and monitor their equipment with dynamic sensing. Exploring future of robotics with a four-legged friend. With plans in motion to decommission Ontario Power Generation's nuclear power plant in Pickering, Ontario in the coming years, making sure that process is as safe as possible is of the utmost concern for the Energy Corporation, its employees and the surrounding community. Nearby Ontario Tech University is working with OPG to test a four-legged solution that is part of an emergent field of engineering, which could change how the maintenance of nuclear power plants is performed and by whom. Enter Spot an agile mobile robot designed by U.S. design and engineering company Boston Dynamics. The company is infamous for its robots, which entered the public consciousness via viral videos dating back as early as 2004 with Big Dog, Spot's much larger predecessor. Spot represents the first publicly available iteration of this robotic technology, and for OPG's Edward Lay, an opportunity to bolster the safety of the maintenance program at OPG. As a new technology, Spot's capabilities in the field of industry are largely untested, so researchers are looking to understand its full potential prior to putting it to use doing field work. It's an exciting opportunity, said Scott Nokelby, chair of the Department of Automotive and Mechatronics Engineering at Ontario Tech. These Spot robots are at the forefront of a new wave of robotics, taking a step out of the research world and into more industrial applications. Dr. Nokelby, the research lead on this project, is working alongside PhD student Christopher Baird, who will be testing the robot for his degree over the next three years. Squid Game The Challenge – The Darkest Reality Show Ever? With subscribers currently jumping ship by the bucket load, Netflix finds itself in a fight for its life. To turn the ship around, it has to line up all its biggest guns and fire them at once to show that it has the intellectual property to compete with its rivals. One of the biggest guns that Netflix has at its disposal is Squid Game, the South Korean drama that managed to enthrall the entire world last year. But there is a problem. Squid Game was released many months ago. It took 12 years to make. A second season has been announced, but since it essentially has to be rebuilt from scratch, it is probably another two years away. And given how the last season ended, any new episodes are likely to be radically different from anything we've already seen. Success isn't guaranteed, in other words. Squid Game The Challenge will be a 10-part game show where 456 competitors from around the world will gather together for a chance to win $4.56 million. You can expect all the classic Squid Game iconography to be present and correct. The masks, the dormitory, the giant perspex pig full of money. We feel if anything can save Netflix right now, it will be this. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.